Hey there everyone, this is Jonathan of Nerdy Shogun here, with a new movie review for all of you today. So, I've got one question though. How many of you guys out there are huge fans of the Godzilla franchise? And if you are, awesome. Because for me, I knew of Godzilla for a while. I knew of them, their popularity, their huge cultural impact with the giant monster kaiju style. Uh, movies that they were a major influence with, but I would honestly say my gateway has been the more recent films that have come out, starting, of course, with Godzilla, which came out in 2014. So, honestly, I want to say my interest first started in actuality with Pacific Rim. So when I heard that there was a new Godzilla movie coming out, I was really excited, mostly because my dad is a huge Godzilla fan. So I thought, you know what? This should actually be worth watching. I can't honestly remember if we did watch this one in theaters or not, but I did remember seeing it a lot on public television for a while, and let me tell you right now, this movie fulfilled my expectations a lot for seeing Godzilla on the big screen. And, if anything, I thoroughly love his design here. And I know that it's full CGI and everything, but it still just looks so cool. And how... This movie itself started what is essentially known as the Monsterverse, which has been going on for a while now. With, of course, this being the film that started off with, followed by Kong Skull Island, Godzilla King of Monsters, Godzilla vs. Kong, and another more recent one that's coming out here later this month. But overall, I just want to talk about this movie here. So, me being a new Godzilla fan, I did not know everything about this, so this was a cool little gateway for me. And I'm pretty sure it's probably the same way for a lot of newer fans as well. But that being said, one major complaint that I do see a lot with this film is the fact of just how dark it is. Which I do kind of agree with, because especially in some cases, with some DVD releases and whatnot, it was so dark you could barely see a thing sometimes. That's my only major complaint, though. But other than that, we see how this first starts off with two massive monsters known as the Mutos, who are rising up now, awakening from their slumber, causing a massive panic, and it can property damage along the way. And then meanwhile, Godzilla himself makes his appearance to confront these Mutos, seeing as how they are intruding upon his territory as the king. And I like how Godzilla's given this more heroic stance throughout. Even though he's also seen as a bit of an enemy by most, there are those who believe he can actually be a protector in some cases. A king who does not like intruders on his property. And that is exactly what these Mutos are. Intruders. Watching Godzilla come to life facing these ginormous creatures, it was actually a lot of fun. Especially the big airport reveal where our main human character, a soldier, is one of the first few to actually see Godzilla in action, facing off against one of the Mutos in the airport. And that moment where we see the Muto challenging Godzilla, only for Godzilla to respond in kind as flames are erupting around him, that was a glorious moment. That was essentially saying, hey, we're back. The king has returned. And I absolutely loved it. But if you were to ask me the best roar of this entire film, it was later on when they were confronting each other in the big city. And from that, we hear Godzilla's massive roar of challenge. That was beautiful. But I will say, the final fight between Godzilla and the Mutos, yeah, I can see what a lot of people complain about with it being incredibly dark to the point that you can barely see anything. Which makes sense in one aspect, since they are fighting at night. But I do believe that some of the earlier DVD releases for this movie really didn't do too well in actually keeping it bright to where you could actually see what was going on, despite it being at night. And watching the whole human subplot of this one single soldier protecting a family, whilst also pursuing his mission of stopping these Mutos, because apparently... With the Mutos, you have one male who's able to fly, and the other, who is a female, filled with an egg sack of other Mutos babies. And if she's able to lay that sack, 
the world is going to die. So in that case, you could say muthos are kind of like parasites in a way. Parasitic by nature. Because with the fact that so much destruction that they are causing and having more of them around, I don't think even Godzilla would be able to stand a chance. And that is saying something. However, I will say Godzilla... This fight against them was very fun to watch, especially the moment where he re reveals his atomic breath for the first time in the film. That was an amazing spectacle to behold, just this massive blast of blue flame as it's charging up across all of his tail spikes all the way to his mouth. And then that final boom, where he unleashes his atomic breath. It was cinematically beautiful to behold. And I'm watching him take out the male Muto by slamming him against the building with his tail. <laughs> I don't know why, but for whatever reason, that still gets a chuckle out of me to this day. With the fact that you just watch Godzilla just looking at this dude like, like, you were really a challenge for me all this time. And Godzilla decides he's not playing around anymore. He just takes his tail and one shots this dude into the side of a building. That was awesome, and honestly kind of funny. <laughs> but then later on, watching him completely execute the female Muto, that was awesome. Like, he just straight up grabs her, forces open her mouth, and just shoves an atomic breath down her throat. That was savage to a degree. Though I do like how the public, as this whole thing is going on, they're discussing about how they're ancient files and stuff talking about how the earth was at one point a massive nuclear wasteland with higher levels of radiation than any humankind would have been able to survive and all these monsters were bred from that time period even though this is just the start of it to the monster verse i should say i will say they did a very good job of building up the suspense of wondering where do these creatures come from why are they rising up now what does godzilla have to do with all of this and more than that, also, just seeing what is essentially the king dealing with intruders on his property. That was pretty cool. And if you guys are wondering, I'm actually planning to review some of the other MonsterVerse films that I have seen. Which, surprisingly enough, the only one that I have not seen out of the bunch is actually Kong Skull Island. I've seen this Godzilla, I've seen King of Monsters, and I've seen Godzilla vs. Kong. The only ones I haven't seen are the newest one coming out. In Kong Skull Island, but I'm hoping to correct that at some time soon. But all in all, for myself as a new Godzilla fan, I would say this movie was a great gateway piece, in my personal opinion. It's a great way to kind of refresh the setting for older Godzilla, Godzilla fans, but also it serves as a great gateway for new Godzilla fans. Because even if you were just exposed to the whole monster verse shared universe that this movie started i'd say that's better than what most would start with and to be quite honest a lot of people give this movie a bit of flack for other reasons besides which i don't really understand it's a newer modern take on godzilla what more could you possibly ask for besides two monsters slamming and knocking the crap and teeth out of each other what more could you ask for if I were to give this movie any sort of rating, I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. Because like I said, some shots were incredibly dark to the point of being almost unseeable. But other than that, this is actually a pretty solid film overall. But that's just my personal take on it. What do you all think? Did you enjoy this film when it first came out? Did you see it in theaters, on disc? And if you so if so, did this make you a Godzilla fan when it first started, or were you already a senior Godzilla fan when this movie came out? I'd love to hear your all's thoughts and opinions, and yes, again, I will be reviewing some of the other films in the MonsterVerse, at least until the new one comes out. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this movie review, and I will see you all in the next one, so stay tuned for that, because the next movie review that I'm going to be covering is Godzilla, King of Monsters. With that being said, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, or subscribe if you're interested for more of mine and Ray's content. Believe me, we will always have something fun for you all here on Nerdy Shogun, and we hope you all all stay tuned. And with that being said, this is Jonathan of Nerdy Shogun signing out for now. 
I'll see you all in the next one.